Ladies and gentlemen, this stream is now in session. Obi Wan 362, Gamer Law presiding. And with me, of course, is Bubbles. Hi, guys. And welcome back to day two of our uh, new D&D &D campaign where Bubbles is attempting to learn the ways of the druid and in so doing also have us both learn D&D &D as a system. Uh, last time, uh, you guys got a nice little... Nice little introduction to to Bubbles' character. Uh, she is the druid Lavari, a tiefling, tiefling girl who, at the age of four, was it? Yes. Was uh, exiled from her town. Her mother was murdered, trying to get her out of out of the town and she fled into a sentient forest that has taken care of her since. That was ten years ago and we met back up with her. She had a little battle with a wolf that was later identified as uh, one of the one of the wolves who had ra who had been around when she was being raised. Uh the, the runt of the litter uh, nearly took you down. About. How much, how much HP do you have left? Mm. Two? Yeah, two. Uh, Mom came in, made everybody all better. And then as as well as was settling in for her excuse me, as LeVar was settling in for the evening, uh, heard the cries of an injured creature and immediately sprang into action to go save the little thing. Mm -hmm. Showed up and there were these two people and this small little ball of fur and feathers. Eventually, a couple people showed up and you, you, you just kind of obliterated them. Yep. You had so much more luck against two people than you had against one little runt of a wolf. Yep. You got some. You got some information out of them. You coaxed them along uh, to next to a little running stream with a waterfall where you had a nice little chat got some backstory mm -hmm. and as you were discussing things uh, uh, an ominous nicely dressed humanoid with a, with a feline face showed up and the, the forest that normally restrains visitors was curling away as he walked. And that's where I asked you. Hold on real quick. What was the half orc bo half orc boy's name? Keth. Keth. Okay. And he told you that the elf's name was Egan or Agen. He didn't really know. Okay. Your the new the new arrival walked up and said, I "Believe you have something that belongs to me." Nope, I don't think I do. And after your smart dog remark, he had made a comment saying, I'm sure I can think of someone who'd pay a fine price <sighs> for a, what was the wording? The Feisty Tiefling. Yep, that was it. Feisty Tiefling. Couldn't think of Feisty. 
And that's when I left you to say, what do you do? Um, well, well, um, I should probably open my book too, to the proper page. Probably. Um, how far is he from me? We actually have the map. Oh, hey. So, you are here. Okay. He is here. Actually, I can pull it up on here. Uh, oh, that's much better. You are here. He is here. Okay. Each square is five feet. Five uh, feet, yep. So, about, about ten. ten. Yeah. Uh, okay. The way, the way that diagonal movement in D&D works is basically whichever if up and down is further or left and right is further that that's how far it is okay oh he's farther away than I thought okay I mean he's only 10 feet yeah alright I'm I don't like this 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 um where's my wolf brother your wolf brother good I forgot to put him on the thing. Um, do I sell the wolf? I had him last time. My wolf token go. He is probably right here. Okay. Um. I signal to my wolf brother to go behind him stealthily. Okay. Um. How, how, how do? Oh, um, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Making me role play. Yeah. Um, I, uh, little motions. I flick with my fingers and nod my head. Um, he understands me. Okay. We, we've, we've, we've played this game before. Okay. I want you to make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> My deck sucks. Nat 20. Really? Really? That's what the little Kraken is, right? Yep. Uh, so it would be like... Nope. Doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Good. What is uh, it? 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you really needed that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, he doesn't seem to notice your hand movements. Okay. And... Don't do this again. Yeah, your wolf just doesn't want to move. Oh, I was on pan. I was on uh, pan view that okay. time. The last time I was not, but this time I was because I was on pan. He slowly gets about here, working his way out. Is that an actual line of trees and stones? Uh, this. Yeah. It's a. It's low. There, so like it's not enough to obstruct anything. Okay. Okay. I want him to move faster than that, but that, that's fine. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I need I need my cantrips. Where am I? Uh, I guess one, two, three, four, five. Actually, he was able to move. Cause you're wanting him to you wanting him to sneak his way around, aren't you? Yeah, but not that far. Like he can, he he's gets. Stealthy. He gets off of the map here at the bottom. Okay. And he's gonna work his way around here. Okay, that was further than I wanted him to do, but that's fine. Um. Ah. Okay. Um. I'm.
I'm going to... Um... That doesn't really help me. It's not what I want to do, because I don't know what I want to do. As you're debating... Okay. Trying to figure out what you're doing. Okay. The feline walks closer to you. Okay. Are you coming in easy? Or are you going to make this fun for me? Oh, I'm not making anything fun for you. I cast uh, Tomaturgy and I I make the sound of an animal right behind him like right in those like like there yeah right there yeah give me a deception at advantage I didn't have to. It's a. It's a cantrip. Yes, but you're trying to make it do. You're. You're doing it to. Uh, to a certain effect. The sound happens. Okay. You're checking to see if he buys it. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't. A four. So that advantage. So you get a. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Eighteen. Because you sent your wolf friend off, mm -hmm. when he hears that sound, he turns thinking it might be him getting ready to attack him. Okay. I immediately charge him, and I, um, I, 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 I beat him with my staff. But more elegantly than that, I'm going to... would be the best way to do this. Um, I'm going to whack him across the back of the legs to try getting down on to his knees. Okay. So you're going to advance up? Yep. And take a take a swing at him? Yeah. Okay. Give me an, uh, uh, we'll say you're flanking, so I'll give you advantage on the attack. Okay. I guess in that one was not very good. No. That one was worse. Um, four. So, you swing with all your might at the back of his legs, and you hit, and he just doesn't move. Oh, frick. Okay. Um. <laughs> he, at that, he, ah, this is, this is, oh gosh, stop popping up thing. Can't can't turn the thing if it's got the things in the thing. Just yeah um, there you go. Just He turns around to and's like the fun way it is. Shit. Now roll initiative. Mm, where's my initiative on here? Fifteen. Okay. It's gonna be committed for you in a minute. He's standing directly in front of you. And now that he's, now that he's turned and looking down at you, 
Mm -hmm. You get you get to see that he's got some massive paws. Okay. And out of those massive paws, ching, some nice razor sharp claws. Hmm. Okay. And he just takes a swipe at you right oh. along, just right along your side. What's your what's your armor class? Um. Ooh, no. What did what did this do? Okay, hold on. Oh. Whoop, nope, this is... I broke it. You broke it? I broke it, hold on. Sweetheart, you can't... You can't be breaking things. Um... Uh, 14. Fourteen? Yes. So, as these... As these giant claws come at you. You've been fighting with animals for years now. You just, you take a step back right out of the range of his swipe. Perfect. And it goes just wide. Okay, um. Hold on. Oh. He grins. And then vanishes. What? That feels unfair. I don't know how to make him just disappear, so he's still just right there. As far as... Like, do I still sense him? Like, is he there and just invisible, or is he yes. gone? Okay. Okay, in that case... I... Can I cast a cantrip and a spell at the same time? Generally, not unless it says you can cast the cantrip as a bonus action. I don't know how to... I don't know how to... I don't know how to tell that. Um, can you pull the... Can't trip back up again. Uh, so, it says the, it has the casting time as one action. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, dang it. Okay. Um. Have I? I haven't heard him move. Have I? You haven't heard him. No. Okay. <sighs> um, I'm going to cast a Druidcraft right in front of me. Um, a little flame. Just to, just to kind of see if he's still right there. I, okay. Are you aiming at the ground? Are you aiming at... Um, I'm aiming at his chest. Where his chest would be. Yeah. What's your um What's your spell bonus? I think as a druid you use wisdom, right? Yes. I don't know where my spell bonus would be. Well, what's your what's your wisdom modifier? Five. It was a modifier. Sorry, three. Okay. I just don't get the saving throws. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a plus three. <laughs> you you pinpoint the spot. In the middle of space. Not really sure what's going to happen if you miss. Okay. And lucky for you, right where you put it, right there in the middle, mm -hmm. a little flame 
starts and you hear a very quiet pfft. <laughs> like he blew it out like he's trying to <laughs> okay it um, is it is still there but that is your action okay i i don't have anything else like if i can't do another action then that's that's that okay um, um did you did wolf friend move closer wolf friend mm hmm being able to see this floating flame attacks in the middle comes right up behind it and he would have been able to attack before he just would have had disadvantage but now I forgot about wolf friend so I didn't I didn't bookmark his 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 stat block A mastiff. Um. I turned him for you. I go. There we go. I was cocked. that is just as bad. He jumps and leaps at the f where the flame is, mm -hmm. and hearing the leap, the, you watch the flame s move sideways. Mm. Just dodging right out of the way. Dang it. Um, the Albert cries. Okay. <laughs> I throw him another good berry. Okay. <laughs> he just he munches it. He munches it. He's he's a little nervous, but at the same time, like he's hungry, and that there's a tasty berry. Yeah. Um. The other two don't really seem to do anything. They seem still petrified by what's happening. Okay. Ah. Uh, back to the top and thanks to the f thanks to the flame on his chest you're able to see see it happen as he moves to the side of you so he can't he can't flank you because you you saw him move mm -hmm. um but as he goes to attack you he reappears I can't quite see which. I think nope. Uh, I think the the, st the stick is at your back. Oh, is that my back? Yes. Oh, well, never mind. I was facing the right direction then. Well, you're sorry. No, no. The the stick you're using to rotate. Oh, this is my back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it auto snaps into into a grid. Yeah. Except for the wolf, because that's how I designed him. Uh, what's your armor class again? 14. Yeah, okay. So, he watched, you, he watched you dodge out of the way one time, and he wasn't about to let that happen again. So this time he reaches a little bit further, and he had his, his claw finds purchase in your shoulder. Ouch. You suffer oop, eight points of slashing damage. Ouch. And it is your move. 
Okay, I can. He's appeared. He's visible. Yes, he. Yeah, he did not disappear okay. after this attack. I am. I. I cast thunder wave at him. I clap my hands and I do my big boom voice. Um. That's a D8. Nope, that's not. And what is it? It's a... What's the save on that? Mm, Constitution 13. Okay. Six. And on a, on a successful save, what happens? Mm, is it half damage? Half and damage and he's not pushed. You said that was six? Six. One roll was really good and one roll was really bad. <laughs> as you're as you as you do this thing which had before knocked out his cronies with ease. Mm. The thunderclap smacks, you feel the force, and you watch as like the trees behind him ripple. Uh-huh. And you see him kinda jar a little bit, but he doesn't move. Shoot. That was my last spell slot. Okay. As you do that, you hear Ooh! Finally. I send up a howl. You... Okay. Howl! The howl you heard was Mama. Had to have been. After you howl, you hear three other howls very close by from the direction of the den. Okay. So everybody's showing up. Okay, good. This little guy goes charging in. Okay. And he's going to make his attack. He's going to take his bite. Hoping and praying. I think he's going to get it. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Where is the last page of this? Um, let's see. That's He goes in and at the at the sound of the howl he your opponent looked up and then looked the other direction towards the other howl. Okay. And then that is when the little runt of the litter grabbed him on the leg. <laughs> Hmm. You just hear a. Hmm. Who grabbed? And you couldn't really tell because it seemed to mingle between your wolf friend growling and your enemy growling. It all just kind of got mixed in. This was just one snarl. As you're as you're staring at your at your opponent, you kind of hear from the owlbear though. Okay. Do you take your eyes off your opponent to look that no. way? No. Okay. Make a perception check. Oh, I think my perception is really good. Yeah. And add. Add on to your perception an extra an extra one. Eighteen. You feel you feel the forest tell you as the next round is getting ready to start. Mm-hmm. Mom is here. Okay. And as you sense that. Bounding. Huh, I made her bigger than that. Oh, hey! Mom is pretty big. Yeah. B- 
bounding across the water is Mama. <laughs> Yay! And a second after she pops up, bounding over the other side of the water is another giant Oh. wolf. The same size. This one I don't know. This one you don't know. It looks remarkably like Mom, though. <laughs> okay. And Mom, you hear through that through that telepathy that your that Mom has. Mm -hmm. You will not touch my children again. From this one, mm -hmm. out loud, hmm. you hear. You are not welcome in these woods. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Is it me? Uh, I will let you decide what you want to do in this situation. First. Um. Because, because you're. Your opponent is a little taken aback at this change of circumstance. Okay. He was prepared for wolves. He wasn't prepared for giant wolves. Okay. Um. I have no spell slots. So, I am... I am going to grab the elf... Forcibly place him next to the owl bear, and just have myself between them and the tiger. Okay, so you want to move here? Yes. And, and then I'm just gonna whip him behind me. Vroom. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna call my little wolf with hand gestures again to my side, so he's in front of the elf as he's down from the elf. So not right in front of the Rakshasa. Okay. He's he's going to try to move. And by moving, he, your your Rakshasa friend gets an attack of opportunity on him. As he moves, Rakshasa gets a nice clean hit on his hind leg. Ooh, for mm, he hits your friend for nine damage. It's two d six plus two. Okay. Just checking. Think you I'm making up numbers. Just checking you over there, DM. You don't get to check me. I do get to check you. That's not how this works. That is how this works. It is not. As you guys step back, he's a little he's a little more cautious than he was before. Okay. He goes invisible again. Okay. I want I cast your craft at him again and light his chest up. That's your turn. But But it's a cantrip. Can't I do it whenever <laughs> I want? He has an action. Yeah, I'm doing it as an action whenever you used your I act want. You moved. Now, here I will let you. I will let you roll at disadvantage. Adding adding your your wisdom modifier. Okay. I'll let you treat it as a reaction. Okay. Because you didn't attack last turn. Yeah, I yeah. So, in the future, if you. Twenty three. At disadvantage? Oh, sorry, at disadvantage. Uh, 15. Um, in the future, if you're not going to use your action, you can always hold your action. Just state what you would have done. Oh, okay. 
and what the triggering event would have been. Okay. So, like, for something like this, when you already know someone likes to go invisible. Mm-hmm. It does... You cast it, and a tree off way back in the distance sh in a straight line from where you targeted it has a little flame on it. <laughs> but the 15? He rolled a natural 20. Oh, frick. Why? It no, he shouldn't have been able... He shouldn't be able to deflect that. You're also you're save. also using it as an attack. It's not No, I'm using it as a mark. I'm not trying to hurt him, I'm just trying to mark him. Can I see Druidcraft? Yeah, it doesn't have It's not an attack. But you're trying to target something with it. Right, it's, but... It's the targeting aspect that we're... He shouldn't be able to avoid that. It's not like a physical attack where he can see it's coming. No, but it's also... You can't see him to target him with it anymore. But I know right where he's at. You know right where he was when he vanished in that second. You don't know if he moved as soon as he did that. Then let me roll perception for it. Okay. Twenty one. His stealth check was a natural twenty. <laughs> Cause that's what I rolled against mm -hmm. your Against your attack was his st his stealth check. So I'll give you I'll give you a different roll to see if. Okay, you see where he went. Okay. And you mark him. Okay. Seeing. You you see him and he's moved about to here. Okay. As he's got this little flame on him. Mom moves up and you hear her in her telepathy. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad idea. Can can Tiger Man hear her? Uh I guess I yeah, don't know. You don't know, but you do notice that uh these these two mm -hmm. seem to be reacting to the fact that she's talking. Okay. That she's she's projecting thoughts. Okay. So you assume that he does. Okay. Um hold on, I gotta see. I think I put this in here if I need to. Nope, I didn't include it in there. One second while I check the stats. Oh, good. It's the same page I was already on. <laughs> That's convenient. Uh, as she says that, she starts to snarl. Okay. And her mouth starts to glow. Hmm, this is new. Ooh. Hmm. I didn't read that right before. That's fine. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. It, it is. Uh, can I borrow... Uh, how many D8 do you have? Um, just two of them. You just need two? Yep, just let me borrow two D8. Okay, there's two. To add to my two D8. Hmm... Cheese. Good kind of cheese or bad kind? 
Depends on who we're talking about. Uh, it's a... Okay, my... Okay, he makes it. You see the f you see this light start burning in mom's mouth and out she just fires out a stream of fire. Hmm. That's new. <laughs> yeah, you've never seen like, mom I do say, I say this yeah. out loud. Yeah. <laughs> and uh he makes his he makes his deck save to only take half. And so, he takes 11 points of fire damage. Jeez. And his invisibility is dropped. Okay, good. Without saying anything... Mm-hmm. He does the same. Okay. But the Rakshasa had focused on Mama mm -hmm. and didn't see that he was getting ready to get blasted from the other side. Okay. And so gets hit for 22 points of fire damage. Hmm. His once very nice silks <laughs> are, are a little worse for wear now. I would say so. Uh, I will give you a move if there's something you want to do. Uh, nope, I'm good. Just watching. The Rakshasa, since we've all determined that's what it is now. Yeah. Wait, is he pretty battered? You would think he'd be worse off considering he's been... Okay. Shot so with he's, fire. He's not as he's not as harmed as I would expect. Okay. Yeah. You can see you can see burns clear burns on him. Okay. But he kinda ruffles his fur a little bit, stands up a little straighter. He reaches into what's left of his cloak okay. on his side and pulls out the brightest red apple you've ever seen. Hmm, don't eat that. He's like, well, I didn't expect to need this. And just takes a bite out of it. Um, um, I, I... As, as he chews it up, you watch as the burns that were on his arm Shit. just heal. Shit. Uh, I, I, I wanted to knock that out of his hand, and I didn't get there fast enough. I don't know how I would have. Give me a perception check. I dropped it. It wasn't my roll. 18. 18. 18. You hear a rustling in the bushes on the other side of of the little river. Okay. And you see your you see mom trying the same way you tried to gesture the runt mm -hmm. around. She's gesturing you that direction. Okay, I go. Do you go by yourself or do you drag everybody else with you? Is she doing the same, like, did she, did she tell me, hmm. Because, like, the gesture. It seems, it seems like a get out of here. Okay, then I pick up the, I pick up the owlbear, and I grab the other two. Like, I, I do the owlbear fireman style. Just scoop, and 
I signal to the wolf to um, to push the elf, and I grab the half orc by his hands. Give me a strength check. Since you're since you're since you're fireman styling the the old bear, it's a lower DC. Uh, where's my strength? Okay. Oh dear. Oh no, a six. Huh. Advantage because it's a <laughs> surprise. I won't give you an advantage. I will give you an extra D six on top of it for adrenaline. Okay. <laughs> a twelve then. Because I got a six. You struggle. You struggle a little bit. He's a chunky boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you hoist him up. And you're like. Wah! I stuff another good berry in his mouth as I do it. Just and, to shut him up. And it gets you. It gets you past the the animal handling check. Kay. Doing that. And the half orc is ready to run. The drow was ready to run. Everybody was ready to run. Like okay, okay. so, they didn't need much prompting from you. Okay. It was all about getting the little old bear to go, and you got him to go. As you cross the water. Mm hmm. Your th three of your wolf brothers show up. Okay. They're not as big as mom is. Right. But they're but sizable. They're sizable. They are rideable sizable. Oh, cool. I just yelled to the other two, get on. And I just I just leap on the one with the owlbear. <laughs> you... You feel him bend. <laughs> He's used to your weight. He's not used to you plus an owlbear. I, I ruffle his ears and I, I stick a good berry in his mouth. I have three left. The other two very hesitantly get on. Because they just, they want out of here. Yeah. But they're also getting on top of a giant wolf. Yeah. So they're a little scared. Yeah. You hear you you hear the the other giant wolf that you are unfamiliar with. Mhm. Mm say Take them to our village. And at that, the three wolves just bolt. I don't have a village. Oh, frick. They're bolting not in the direction of the village you got kicked out of. Okay. They're bolting in the direction where when you did your howl mm -hmm. was the direction that you heard mom's howl come from originally. Okay. Interesting. And you have managed to get out of here. Okay. Also, the little little runt wolf is coming too. He's okay. Yeah, yeah. He's trailing behind, which feels wrong because the other three are carrying people. Mm-hmm. But he just needs some help. He's he's little. As you're as you're writing. Mm-hmm. Give me a perception check. It's not an advantage, but I'll probably give you a... Uh, give me a perception check and then add a D4. Hmm. Eight. Uh, nine. No, wait, wait. Fourteen. <laughs> it's like, nine, well that sucks. I forgot my Four. actual perception. Here, you can you have your D8s back. Okay, thank you. Um, as you're going, you keep hearing things run by in the trees. Okay. You don't see anything, but you hear them. And you see shadows over top of okay. the canopies. Okay. 
And they look like there's large things flying over top the trees. Okay. You just long for the ride? Yeah, I'm just long for the ride. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything about that. The three wolves kind of skid to a stop. In, you've you've left your forest. Okay. You've gone out past past the bounds of your forest. You can tell because the oak trees kind of stop. <laughs> Bless you. <Christ. laughs> Thank you. Just okay. Lavari, do you need to blow your nose? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm okay. The trees kind of stop. Okay. Well, the the trees are used to stop. And you go a good another 200 feet into this other section of forest. Okay. Before you hear, HALT! Visitors are not allowed to trespass in our land. Hmm. The wolves all stop. Okay. And they look at you. This is your guys' village, isn't it, guys? <laughs> they look at each other and kind of like side eye you. Like, you know, we all live in the den. Then why'd you bring me here? Do you say that out loud? I say that to them. Like, it's, it's not loud enough for anyone else here. It's to them. From the trees, you hear again, State your business! Guys! Do I get any reaction from them? <laughs> yeah, they sit. <laughs> you are useless. <laughs> what I wanted to have happen. An arrow lands at your feet. Oh, at your foot. Frick. No, no, we're not trespassing. Can I can I talk to a a being, a person? It's a long story. I just need help. Emerging from behind one of the larger trees comes and comes someone that looks a lot like your your new white haired friend but with pale skin instead hmm. so he's not what I thought he was oh no he is I bet okay oh, okay I just, I just watch. I just patiently, I'm just patiently waiting. I'm not, I'm not about to move. Also, I feel, since they sat, are we all on the ground? Did they dump us? You can, you can either have fallen off or, like, as they sat, like, you, I, your feet caught you. And I you slid. I assume my companions are all on the ground. The half-orc seemed fine. He was, he, like, stumbled a little bit, but he landed. Your, your dark elf friend, he just, he's on the ground. Okay. He's like he's trying to like get up quickly and brush himself okay, off. Okay, okay. You wanted to speak to a person. Now state your business. Okay. So I live in the forest next door and this tiger person came and started fighting us. Um and Mama Wolf and I don't know this other wolf that looks like her, but is I've never seen before. They're fighting him right now, and I think he sent us here, but I don't know where here is. So, yeah. Also, these are my friends, I think. I don't know. They appeared before the tiger man did. Um, but this baby was being tortured. I know that much. I'm sorry. One, one moment. So... The the forest wolf is your mother. Yeah. Well, she's not like my birth mother. My Clearly. My Rude. My birth mother was killed by the villagers who ran me out. 
and Mama, Mama Wolf has just taken care of me since I was real little. Can you, can you, and there was another wolf? Yeah, he was as big as Mama, and Mama's massive, and he spoke. Like, not, not in my mind like Mama does, but out loud? Alar, what have you got us into? <laughs> it's very complicated. Who, but why did you come here? Oh, we were just riding the wolves. They brought us. He, the big wolf said something about take them to my village, to our village. We can have words with ALR when he gets back. Fine. With who? I'm going to let him explain it to you. Okay. The three of you... What is that? And he points at your little furry, f <laughs> furry, feathery friend. Well, I'm not really sure, but he looks like half a bear and half an owl. So I'm calling him an owl bear. Clever. Uh, Hey, what do you expect from me, all right? I grew up in a forest. I call him like I see him. Um, he seems okay, but yeah. he's been hurt. I've been feeding him good berries. It seems to keep him happy. Yeah. Like, pop another in his mouth. How <laughs> many you have left? Uh, one. <laughs> As long as he doesn't cause any trouble, you can bring him along, too. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, hurry up. I follow. He motion. The, ha <laughs> the half-orc and the drow are a little, like... I snap. Get over here. <laughs> Shh. The, <laughs> the half-orc looks a little defiant at that. The drow puts his head down and walks. <laughs> <laughs> I, the half orc comes along anyway. Okay. But he just like he kind of puffs his chest out for a second, and then keeps like locked eyes with you as he, as he totally, comes along anyway. I totally side eye him. <laughs> you round the side of the tree. Mm-hmm. And this person pushes on the tree. And the tree opens. Oh. And inside's a platform. I like go to the part that opens and like look along the side. Because I've never seen a tree do this. Look, you're either coming or you're going. No, I'm coming. Get in here. I'm here. I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm on the inside. I'm, I'm still like, this tree opened. Pushes it shut, and you're now inside the, you're inside the tree. Okay. And you can hear as pulleys start to turn, and the platform starts to lift. Weird. And you go up. 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 It's a pretty slow ride. Okay. I mean, this, yeah. is, a, this is a medieval elevator. Okay. <laughs> Made in a tree, <laughs> like. I reached down and I kind of just, I kind of scritched the owlbear's head. Owlbear's just kind of looking around. It's dark in here. Okay. You have dark vision, though, so you're fine. Okay, everyone else is struggling. Well, you I know. assume that everyone else yeah. is struggling. Because I realize I have dark vision. I know I can see in the dark. Couple, couple seconds, about a minute passes. You kind of lurch to a stop. And he pushes open... A door in front of you. Okay. And you're just on... There's a platform in front of you. Okay. Do you stay where you are? Do you step out? I, I step out. As you step out, you realize this platform wraps around the tree that you were at the bottom of. Oh, this is cool. And you see bridges connecting these platforms between different trees. And all these circles around them. Huh. Just like this one. And up here you see more people like the one that brought you up here walking around. 
walking from tree to tree. You guys live in the trees? Told you, ALR will explain things to you. Now come along. I'm just wide-eyed and just staring around but following. He takes you... Oh. Do they see us? Do the other people see us? Like, are they acknowledging us? Other people see you. Because we're, we're a motley crew. Are we getting side-eye stares? You're not even getting side-eye stares. You're getting full stares. Like, it's pretty clear that people here are not used to visitors. Okay. No one seems scared. No one seems angry. Okay. They mostly seem confused. Okay. You do get some children. Okay. Who, looking at you mm -hmm. and looking at the green one. Okay. But like between between all of you, you We're can't. All you, different colors. You can't actually tell. Some of the children seem scared, and you can't actually quite tell. Who they're scared by. Okay. You just... You know what scared looks like. Yeah. And that's what some of the kids look like. But the parents and the older people, they seem fine. Okay. You're only led about three trees from where you started. Okay. And he pushes open... A tree again? A massively wide tree. Okay. And inside's a room. It's lit. It's actually furnished. How do the trees grow there's, if you've hollowed them? There's books. It's lined with bookshelves. <gasps> I run to the bookshelf. And I just, I, I pull one down. Because I'm a forest child. I have no manners. Um, I pull one down and I start flipping through it. Huh. All right. It's a it's a book of children's stories written in common. Hmm. So you can understand it. Man, I'm so it would be something more technical, like more. Cause like I can read, I can read at a regular reading level. Like. I mean, you were you were four when you lived a village, and you've lived in the forest. Ever since. Reading might be a little difficult for you. Mm. I was advanced for my age. I have very <laughs> high wisdom. That's an intelligence thing. I have very high intelligence, too. <laughs> I put the children's stories down because they're ones I know, and I put the book next to it. As you start to reach for the next one, the person who's legend here is like, Stop touching things! But they're books. I haven't had books in so long. I love books. As you say that, you hear, oh, well, let her look. Let her look. In the same voice mm -hmm. as the wolf that told you to come to the village. I whip around, expecting to see my giant wolf. That I give don't me know. Your, give me a perception check. But I'm, but I'm turning. I'm physically turning. Uh, 13. 13? 13. You spin around, thinking he, somehow this giant wolf got behind you. There's no one behind you. And so you look up. And towards further up in this in this tree hovel. Tree what? I call it a hovel. <laughs> tree hovel. I don't know. Uh, this inside this tree house, whatever. A hovel is some place that's like garbage. A hovel. Here, let me dictionary look up hovel real quick. Because hovels are run down. Don't think that's necessarily true. A small, squalid, unpleasant, or simply constructed dwelling. 
Yeah, simply constructed. Yeah. It has negative connotation. This squalid. One does. <laughs> this is not squalid. But they have this, a library. <laughs> this small house in a tree. Thank you. All right. Tree house. That's all you have to say. Tree house. There's a hole further up in the tree. And there, perched, you just see an owl. Uh, your music ended. Thank you. There's just an owl perched in the hole. Call to it. Do you do an owl call to it? I do an owl call to it. Wait! He just tilts his head. As I, I wait, wait, no, no, no. As I start to do that, it, did the voice come from the owl? That's the only thing you see. I take it back real quick. Like I, I kind of swallow the hoot. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> Check and make sure you're still alive. Yeah, it says I am. Make sure real quick. Yeah, I just don't want to be. Yep. Nope. Okay. Did I see a chat? Uh, I haven't seen one. What you your role play? I just walked in. <laughs> uh. So, since you swallow it, do you do anything? You started to hoot at it. You swallowed it. Nope. Nope, I just, I just shut my mouth. For the first time, this entire time, you, he you hear a different voice from behind you. Fascinating. Coming from your white-haired friend. The, so, the little dark-skinned white, hmm. It's the first time, first time... You've heard him say anything. And he's staring at this owl. I whip around him. I just, just stare at him. What? He just he just looks down. He just looks I'm sorry. <laughs> no! What's fascinating? What do you know? As you start tearing him, the owl leaps out of the window. Mm-hmm. Slowly descends. And before landing, turns into someone who looks a lot like the person who led you up here. I whip out my I whip out my staff, and I'm just I'm just ready. Cause this is this is witchcraft that I don't even know. I look and go, how did you do that? He puts his hand on your staff and just kind of, kind of like, tilts it down. <laughs> <laughs> Says, I mean, the same way that one just kind of snaps his fingers and starts little fires on invisible people. Ooh! <laughs> I do, I, 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 I do draw craft into my hands. You try and it kind of fizzles. Yeah, because I'm all stressed out right now. And also... People are turned into animals and turned them back. And also, remember, you never probably learned Druidcraft. No, but I... Yeah. I'm, I but we, I thought we decided that I could do little things like that. Leaves and fires and... Just from... You, ca you, can't, you can't do it consistently because you haven't. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you got... So, I made... I think I made you roll for the... the. Yes. So, like, that's what that was for. Oh, okay. Because okay. you're, not, you're not used to yeah. that yet. He's like, he looks like, eh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I suppose I should introduce myself. And as he says that, Elf the brought you up, he's like, So do you have this now? Will you be watching them so I can get back to my work? You are rude. I say that out loud to him. Says the forest child who's grabbing people's things off of their shelves. But it's And he books. turns and walks away. Books are for everyone, jerk! 
the former owl kind of laughs. He's like, oh, he is a bit, isn't he? Yeah, a bit. Well, I am Alar. And who precisely are you? Like, I get your name, but who are you? I am one of the elders here in the village. Um, your mother and I go way back. I sighed I am at that point. What does that mean? I suppose you call her mama, though. Oh, okay. I relax at that. So wait, are you Big Wolf? <laughs> oh, hey. Hmm. And as he does that, a little spark of fire comes out of where his canine is. Hmm. Hmm. I see, I trust you all made it back safely. It seems you you seem a little worse for wear, but not too terrible. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I am quite curious. How is it that you came about being able to do these little minor magics? Magic? Would I wait, hon? Would I? Why would have known? You have magic. a con. You have a concept of magic. This is, this is high fantasy, yeah. right? Yeah, you have. Okay. Um. It would. So it would have been commonplace in the village. It was not commonplace in your village. Oh, okay. But, um. But, but your mother would have told me about it. Between my human mother. Even if your human mother didn't, between your, between your your sentient forest, your telepathic wolf. You you understand that what you can do is not necessarily normal. Okay. And so, you are familiar with the term magic. Okay. I just do it. Hmm. I am Ayla. I am our chief druid. Mem proud member and elder of the Circle of the Moon. What's a druid? Druids seems to be something you're quite on the path to as it is. We we all train, we all commune with nature. Not quite as much as you seem to. He says with a little smile on his face. And we attempt to harness the raw power that nature has to both protect it and others, ourselves when need be. And with that energy, we can do fantastic things. Hmm. Such as taking the form of creatures. Hmm. You seem to have a remarkable amount of potential for someone who's never apparently even been instructed as to what a druid is. I mean, I lived in a forest. And a very powerful forest at that. We are hardly even allowed to set foot in there. I kind of smirk at that. He gets very, he gets like uncomfortably close to you, like a little close to your face. I kind of like unconsciously like reach for my staff, which is on my back again. No, 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 no need for that. He doesn't he doesn't back away. <laughs> but he sees he sees you do it, reaching. Like, no, 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 you don't need that. It wouldn't help you anyway. And he starts to walk away. <laughs> he turns his back and starts walking over towards his bookshelf and... I look at the others and see what their reaction is to this. Because he's a weird dude. The the half-orc just kind of like head-cocked looks exceedingly confused. Kath doesn't know what's happening right now. 
Okay. Egan, on the other hand, or Igan, or whoever he is, is just in awe of what's happening right now. Like, he doesn't he doesn't seem to have knowledge per okay. se. But he's just fascinated. Okay. Alright. I pop myself down on the floor. Just cross legged style. Hmm. Sit and start from the beginning. Oh, beginning. What is the beginning? What does that even mean, the beginning? This Start with how beginning? you know Mama. Oh, right. Um, well, I've been in this village. <gasps> is Mama a person? <laughs> oh, heavens, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> that would be quite interesting, though, wouldn't it? Oh, that would have been fascinating. No, 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 no. Uh, she is, she's exactly what she seems. Well, not, uh, mid. yeah. She's a big magical wolf? Okay, yes, yeah, so she's exactly what she seems. <laughs> um, she's quite powerful. She's been the guardian of that forest for as long as I've been around. Huh, how old are you? I'm sorry, what decade is it? I don't know. Do you know the century, perhaps? I'm 14. Ha. Huh. I can tell you I'm older than that. <laughs> so. But in all my all my years growing up, I always had a bit of a gift for nature and little, little tricks. And he also produces a handful of good berries and lays them in front of your al your owlbear. Okay, who just like chomps yeah, He down. just starts going to town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so it is, uh, from an early age, I was, in, I was inducted into uh, our circle of moon druids. Who, we, we pay attention to the, sh the phases of the moon and notice how our power ebbs and flows with it. We commune with nature. We find deep down, and our our special our speciality, if you will, involves animals, the creatures therein. And so, as part of my training to become one of the elders of our circle, I had to go into your forest and commune with the guardian of the forest. Now, we were guests. We were respectful. We always are. I was, like, side-eyeing him at that point. I kind of re I relaxed the side-eye, but I'm, I'm still suspicious of this... of this... person. He... He talks with... as though he has a lot of age. He doesn't look that old. You need to make your voice older, then. That's also the problem. He talk... He talks as someone. Excuse me. He talks as someone with a with ages of wisdom. Okay. But doesn't look or sound all that old. Okay. Yeah, I'm still just. I'm kind of like half suspicious of this whole thing, this whole ordeal. So was it your presence that brought these people into my forest? No, 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 no. I would say because they appeared and then you appeared. Ah, well, I appeared in response to, I don't know if it was your howl or your little friend's howl. Probably me, but who knows. I but you heard us? I recall a howl uh, as, periodically, uh, as the guardians of this end of your, f of your forest. Mm -hmm. uh, I will call it your forest, of course, since, you're, since your mama is not here. She is, it's probably her forest, but it's your forest. Uh, it is my forest. I believe both your mama and Sylvanas himself would have some other words for that. But, uh... I just glare at him. In the way preteens do. 
He just smirks a little bit. Uh, but he... Hmm. Would you like some tea? Yes. He turns and starts making tea. He does, he's not talking as he does this. He's just making tea. I, he, I reach behind he uses and I grab a book. He uses druidcraft to, to light a little fire underneath a pot to boil water. Is there anything specific that you're looking for in my collection? No. I just, I'm flipping through whatever book I grab. Because what he's doing is not new to me. I make fire and I boil water. Like, that's... I mean, if he has a tea, an actual tea bag, that might be a little odd to me. Because I'm, you know, I'm throwing leaves into a pot and then straining them. But with, I don't know, a homemade strainer. He has a proper, he has a proper little, um... Uh, Teaspoon? A teaspoon. I was gonna say a little um, infuser is not the word I want, but that's what I'm getting. Like a little ball that holds the leaves, dips, and then. It's called a teaspoon. Yeah, like the ones that that like look like two spoon halves put together. No, it's more like uh, it's like a t it would be like a tea bag, except okay. it's metal. It's metal, where it, it could be like unscrewed, removed. Leaves dumped out. Okay. More leaves put in, done again. Okay. Yeah. Like a. Like it's a metal tea bag. It's <laughs> it's a teaspoon. Hmm. Yeah. So instead of being all fancy like we have and having a spring, it's just a. Yeah. It's two spoons. Yeah. No. It's a teaspoon. Continue. Mm -hmm. So he has that and he's putting it in there. He's like, well, on that shelf in particular, you'll find some books that. What languages do you read? Do you read? I read. What languages do you read? Um, the regular kind. Okay, so common. Got it. Um, he says something else to you. In a language you don't understand. Do you understand that? No. Okay, so no to Elvish. Got it. Okay. Um, I don't know about my dialect. Is still any good for that? Uh, let's see. Hmm. He's like looking at you side to side. I assume you understand Infernal. Yes. To me, it doesn't sound different. It's just, it's... But it's probably the first time anybody's ever talked to you in it. Do I hear it as infernal, or do I just hear it as common? You hear it as infernal, but you understand it. Huh. You probably wouldn't aware of that, were you? The look on your face. <laughs> It's your tiefling blood that gives you an innate ability to understand it. It's That's quite fascinating. Fun. Um, anyway. Do another one. Do I know any other languages? I'm afraid I only know a handful more. This is fun though, I like this you... game. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to play this game. <laughs> um you can we can he, fast forward and say we tried a few and the, it didn't work. The next next one he does it, very, it sounds very sing songy, very light and elegant. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what it was. It's pretty though. Oh, I thank you. Oh, what about him? Do it with his languages. I point to the or half orc. Oh. <sighs> I assume he Boy. just looks real scared being dragged into this conversation. He's he just looks scared. He looks very confused. Okay. Don't look at that. <laughs> Don't look at this character sheet. No, look at this character sheet. I have to remember what language he has, if any. 
Uh, I'm afraid I don't speak orc. Do you speak any other languages? And Keth, still just looking so confused by this whole ordeal, just kind of shakes his head no. Doesn't say anything. What about the one that looks like you, but opposite? But opposite? Well, oh, said... you mean the drow? Yeah, he's like you, but the opposite. You're real light, and he's real dark. I'm I'm terribly sorry. The boy pipes up. Mm -hmm. But my name is Kamir. Why didn't you say that earlier? Things were things were very concerning earlier. What about what about him? Do the language thing with him. He's like, I I understood him earlier when he was speaking Elvish, and I understood the Infernal. What? But you don't have horns. Not all who are dark are demon. Oh, that's scary. And obviously I also speak some common, so... Hmm. But that's all that I'm aware of. Hmm. 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 As much fun as this has been, um... The, the two of you, and he gestures to the two that were with you. You're Keth and Kamir. How do we get you back to your to your people so that you you know, we can get you out of here. And they kind of shrug and then Keth goes into the story that you heard before about how they were kidnapped, they were Made slaves. Mm -hmm. Been driven all around. Interesting. Well. You seem a... A hardy boy. Perhaps... Perhaps we can find use for you here. At which point, Kamir... Kamir kind of straightens. I can help. I don't know what, but I can, I'll find something I can do. Hmm. I'm sure there'll be some use for you. Not as for you. Again, a little too close for comfort. I can just go back in my forest. Okay, you, you could do that. Of course, there's no books in your forest. Could, could I borrow some? Hmm. I suppose I could lend you some. If, of course, you would be interested. In, well, I suppose I should ask. Would you be interested in learning how to better protect your forest? Hmm. How? You've learned a, a bit about combat against against beasts of your forest. Mm -hmm. And you've managed to acquire some some level of arcane abilities. But I sense much greater strength. You could be doing far more than what you're currently 
able to with your with the teachings of someone who has been past the knowledge of generations. Can I go back when I like? Of course. You show up. You show up when you would like to learn to return my books. Also, my books must return in pristine condition. Some of these are older than I am, which is much older than you are. Mm, I can't side eye him at that. Because the, the books I would have grown up with would have been well used and well worn. It's kind of side eye, but okay. And of course, at any point, you'd be f welcome to use our library here. And he put, points to the shelves and he's like, I realize it's a rather sparse collection in here, but the main library has plenty more. My eyes just get real big and wide at that. <laughs> Those ones, however, you won't be able to take from the city. Hmm. Do I have to stay in the houses to read? You would have to stay in, in the library building itself to read any of those books as you are not a member of the city hmm. as you're contemplating mm -hmm. the door to this which the other elf had closed as he as he left mm -hmm. is just kicked open I immediately have staff out In walks this tall, six-foot, long brown hair, probably to mid-back, mm -hmm. female, female elf. Mm -hmm. Not even acknowledging you. Like, you have the staff out. Mm -hmm. She pushes it to the side as she just walks straight past you. Hmm. Ayla, how many times must I tell you we are not to get involved in what happens in the other forest? It's like, oh, it was in... What's his name? Should look at the name before now. Uh... For all, it was important that we get involved. You saw what that beast was doing. And besides, isn't it useful for you and your... You and your standing army to get stretch their legs a bit? You realize every time we go there, we end up with boots terribly torn to shreds from that forest. Plus, I did not sign up to fight a fiend today. And why did it have to be right before the shift change? He just kind of grins and looks at you. Like, is she talking about me or is she talking about Tiger Man? Do I know? Can I you tell? Don't you don't know. Like, I need to know if I need to be offended. You don't know. You are you are just hearing the conversation. Okay. Then she turns and, like, for the first time acknowledges that the four of you are here. Okay. <sighs> and now what are we supposed to do with these people? That I am offended. I glare. Pays you no mind. Yeah, I figured. None at all. But that's fine. Like, well, the drow boy wants to be of assistance. He seems, uh, he seems like he could be of use. The half orc is strong. He'd probably be a good addition to your, to your flying forces. I'm still wondering about. I'm still wondering about this. The tiefling here. I'm sorry, what is your name, dear? I'm debating if I actually, if I trust him enough. Like, just, I'm so undecided about him. Lavari. Hmm. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Lavari. 
Huh, well... She's going to be returning to her force, that's correct, isn't it? What you said you were going to do, right? At least to go talk to Mama first. That's fair. You have to take your little, uh, fuzzy friend with you, though. Sorry. Okay. Alwares finished eating all the berries and is... Yeah, I just reached out and I scritch his, I scritch his head. Kind of, kind of like, leans his head into the scratch and, and puts it back down. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to clear anything with, with your mama, then that is perfectly acceptable. Of course, of course, I wouldn't dare expect you to trust some random shapeshifter. That's a terrible idea, in fact. Why would you even do such a thing? Of course you should go ask her. I'm, like, getting more and more, like, disconcerted with this guy. Um, you know where to find me. Um, just be sure to announce yourself when you arrive. I would hate for one of the guards to get a little arrow happy. Hmm. Fine. I'll try, I'll try and let the... Actually, Falar, can you make sure that they don't... Uh, that if our... If Lavari here does happen to return, that she is permitted to be escorted up here? <sighs> so she does. She huffs and she walks out. Okay. Hmm. I think that's a yes. Hmm. Are you sure she'll let me in? I'm not convinced. Uh, that'll probably be fine. Hmm. She she's all tough and talks talks big, but she's got a she's got a good heart. Anyway. Okay. Um Oh, here, for your troubles. And he pulls out a a book. It's just it's just a collection of stories. But it's clearly been well used. Okay. My favorite kind of book. He's like, in here. I take it. For your perusal, as you consider. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, fighting that... <sighs> Rakshasa. I've not done that for quite a few years now. Something that strenuous, so I like the opportunity to rest. So... It was a pleasure to meet you, Levi. Uh, Kath, you and Camille both need places to stay. We will get you situated with something, at least temporarily, until we figure out what to do with you. Uh, and you said, of course, you will be going back to your forest for the evening, correct? Yes. Okay. So, take your little, take your little friend. He, like, he scratches, he scratches at the Albert. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and... Basically, like, pushes us out. Shows you guys out. Okay, okay. And closes it behind you. He's so weird. Kath's just like, uh huh. So. Kimmy's like, I like him. So, wait, why are you like the reverse of him? He just kind of gets a little dejected. It's like, so my people are descended from the same race as he is. Yeah, but, like you look the same, except your skin is dark and his is light. But they they moved underground and began worshiping a a dark god. Hmm. And as the darkness corrupted them uh their features began to change and so most of my people have like me very dark skin and str bright white hair okay i just a total acceptance is just okay that's fine he still looks a little dejected. Like, like I mean, it just satisfied my curiosity. Yeah. So, I kind of like I pat him on the shoulder, and then 
How do we get down from here? At that. <clears throat> I'm here to escort you. Who are you? It's another elf, but this one's like in armor. Okay. He's got like a nice golden breastplate. Hmm. Helmet with some feathers in it. Hmm. I was instructed that these two need lodging and you need uh, a guide to elevate her back down. Is that correct? Yes. That's how you say it, too. That's, that's how I say it. Alright. I walk up to him, though, and I, like, tap on his breastplate and go, huh. And that's it. Then I settle in to follow him. You notice his hand had tensed around <laughs> his sword? <laughs> and then it relaxed when you did that? Okay. He ushers you in front of him? Okay. Back down. Um, I just lead the owl bear with the berry. He ushers you back down the way you came. Mm -hmm. Back to, uh, owl bear. Puts you inside, and then closes the door behind you. So you were in there by yourself. What is with people and slamming of doors here? He doesn't slam. He just closes it. I say that anyway because it, it feels like everyone's slamming doors. As you say that, <laughs> and you slowly descend. I scratch his head. <laughs> um, when you get to the bottom, you're at the bottom mm -hmm. in the dark on your elevator. Okay. You were here before. You kind of you have to paw around a little bit to find the door. But okay. You you find it and you can okay push open. Do you close it behind you? Um. Do you even think about it? Yeah, because it's fascinating. Because there's, it's a door in a tree. I take time to like examine the hinges, because I assume it's an outward swinging door. Yes. Yeah, I, I take a minute to examine the hinges. Are they metal? Or are they wood? Or are they something totally different, like a vine? You have trouble seeing them. They're kind of, they're kind of obscured by vines wrapped around the tree. But as you get in there, mm -hmm. you're metal. Hmm. Okay. But very, but very well hidden by okay. everything. It's a weird place. Okay, I head back towards my towards my forest. Are uh, my wolves there? As you round the tree, the three wolves are still there. Four wolves, because the run the runt's there also. And they're. I run up to him and I tackle him. The run? Yeah. Just, just, that's it. I just tackle him. We roll. It's fine. I hop back up. Make it, make it attack roll. You won't do damage. Right. You won't yeah, roll damage. Non -lethal. You won't roll damage, but to see if, to see if you get him. Natural 20. It's my green. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him off guard. He was not prepared. He was starting to doze a little bit. You tip me up there a while. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So I get off and I ruffle his ears. Okay, and then they all just kind of look at you, waiting to see. Let's go. Okay. And I kind of swing up onto one as we start moving. On the big Are one. You holding the, the owlbear again? Or. Oh no, I figure he can just walk beside us. Yeah, like, I mean, we're, we're walking. We're not running. We're walking. At this point. So, Albert's following you, and he's like, he like kicks his feet out when he walks. Like a baby does. Yeah, I love it. But like, just his front ones, his back ones seem to walk fine. Hmm. Um, it takes a good, at a walking pace, mm -hmm. it takes you a good 10 minutes going in a straight line. Okay. Uh, back towards the den, before you come across the little little river mm -hmm. that you had been at before. Mm-hmm. Uh. Doo -doo. Let's see. Everybody's gone. So let's just go ahead and just boop everybody gone. Uh. 
Actually, this this picture works a lot better for that now than it did before. Uh, all the trees that were there before mm -hmm. are cinder. There is a oh. large little triangle mm -hmm. about where you saw all that happen. Hmm. But the fire is out. It it's makes not... me sad, though. Yeah, it's not spreading, but yeah. Uh, there is a quarter of the apple the Rakshasa had. Hmm. The core, the core is still there, and about a quarter of the apple is left. Okay. And it's just laying there. But that's all you see. As to, you see, no signs of anyone. Okay. I just kind of get down and I kind of touch the singed places just in reverence. You feel, you still feel the energy of the forest. And you've been around long enough, you know, that fire is just a new beginning. Yeah. For a forest. Um, and then I send up a howl to find Mama. Hmm. That's cocked. But why isn't why isn't the arm of this of the of the couch level? Because it's the arm of a couch. From the den, mm -hmm. you hear kind of a muffled howl. Okay. I hop back up on the nearest wolf, big wolf. Okay. I'm gonna head that way. Albert starts drinking drink from the drink from the pond. He's kind of looking around. Yeah. I I just give him a whistle. Ah! Give me an animal handling. <laughs> Eleven? I'll do it. Okay. He comes along. He He's a little begrudging, but he, he comes along. I toss the last berry to him. He's less big check now. Okay. <laughs> um, you without without a vent, uh, make it back to the den. Okay. And there's there's mom just laying in the cave. Okay. Sorry, I was yawning in real Bless life. You. Uh She's got some. She's got some scratches, but she seems mostly fine. Mama, what? What happened? You breathed fire. And then I meet I meet another wolf, and he changed into an owl, and then he changed into a man. And what is going on? When you came in, she was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so you did all that, and like her eyes like kind of open. Child. And now he wants me to go live with him, and I don't know read books and and learn magic but I have to leave my forest and I have to leave you and I have this baby now um that's new um I think he's mine everyone keeps sending him with me so I think he's mine um what is happening to my forest why are people coming in and disrupting everything when we were perfectly happy I'm like <laughs> I'm like throwing a fit here like, I'm doing a little preteen fit, and I'm just getting out all the emotions. I finally when just plop down in front of her. You s when, you say, when you say the part that about him, him being your baby, and you feel like he's yours now, and you're like... The three wolves that had let you, let you ride and yeah. carry all these people, they kind of surround him and, like, start circling him. Like... I mean, if you don't want him. No. I, I growl back at him. Mom, Mom just lets out a big sigh. She just kind of takes her paw, pulls you close into the fur. Yeah. Just like, we'll discuss this in the morning. We've all had a long. God. 
So you gonna you gonna you gonna fight that or No, I'm not gonna fight it. Okay. So you get a long rest. Oh good. Which gives you back all your stuff. You know you can just hit long rest. Take long rest. Confirm. Hmm. Yeah. D&D Beyond is pretty cool. Huh. I think I, I must have been missing the confirm part before. Because I would do it and it wouldn't work. Oh yeah, you have to hit confirm. Okay, it is now morning. Mom's still asleep. You wake up Kay. early. Okay. Is the owl baby awake? He's he's awake and he's like chasing a butterfly. I just like I I get his attention and we walk out to the stream. Ah. Okay. I start like my my morning rituals, my bath and I wash him and I inspect him for cuts and abrasions and I treat them which is forest knowledge. Okay. Um give me a is it medicine? Do you have a medicine ability? Is that a thing? I think so. Yes. Okay, give me a medicine check. Uh yeah, with advantage. <laughs> Uh, eight. You it it takes you a little bit because despite being, despite knowing both what an owl is like and what a bear is like, uh, an owl bear is its own thing even okay. still, and so like you have a basic concept, but he's also a baby who's a little squirmy. Okay, you got a little bit of it in his eye at one point, and he okay. did. He, yeah, he kind of freaked out, but you you eventually get all of his his scrapes and okay. stuff, and he seems to be fine. Okay. He doesn't seem to be any worse for for the whole ordeal, as far as you can tell. Okay. About the time you finish, Mama comes up. Okay. I see. Is my brother there too? Um, no, he doesn't seem to be there. Okay. Is he off? Yeah, he seems. As far as you know, he's just he's just gone. Okay. I was gonna say, put put us up there. Ugh. Where am I? My library, there it is. Where are? There you go. Two there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apparently, didn't save those. I see you're taking to your new, what did you call it, your baby? Is that what you called it last night? Yeah, he's, so he looks like he's part owl and part bear, so I called him an owl bear. I mean, that's fine. Seemed accurate. He's splishing around. Okay. I see, well... What do you want to do with the thing? Can I keep it? <sighs> will it hurt anything? I mean, obviously it will if I don't train it, but you trained me. Well, sort of. You're like, and look how that ended up. 
Yeah, well, and you hear it's... you you hear it as a, you hear it for the joke that it was. It's not my fault. Tiger men came into my forest and tried to beat me up. No, and you did remarkably well in surviving that. That was a difficult fight, even for me. So I preen a little bit. So it was good of you to be able to stall him for that long. Mm -hmm. That makes me a little grumpy. <laughs> stall part. Like, I, I know what it is, but it's still. If you think you can you can train the child, then you may go ahead. Yes. But if it starts to cause problems, we will have to get rid of it. Fine. Now, you had other questions last night. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Who is this elf guy who's a wolf and an owl? Are you talking about Alar? Yeah, him. He's real weird. Yes, yes he is. But he is a good man. So are you two mates? Because he came pouncing and you're like a, no! like a wolf. And I heard him the other day. I know I did. Because I heard you and then I heard a, a howl I didn't know. I had already... I was over there to speak with him about other matters that are not a concern of yours for the time being. <laughs> when I heard your cry, I heard it and I already sensed the darkness that had been permeating our woods. And so I requested his assistance, knowing that between him and their armies, nothing would cause any harm here. Their armies didn't even show up. It was just you and him. And you guys did just fine. They arrived not long after you left, hmm. both by both the ground and air forces. I'm like I'm like very troubled by this. The fact that people are just tromping through my forest, because that's how I see it. She can kind of tell that that's what your concern is. She kind of puts a massive paw on top of your head. <laughs> and it's like, sweet child. They are only allowed in here when I say they're allowed in here. Fine, I guess. Otherwise. <sighs> and you see the spark. Yeah. I will burn their village to the ground. And okay. they know it. Okay. <laughs> So then what about Alar wanting me to go live with him and study magic? He Why can't you teach me magic? I have very limited powers as... You burn Tiger Man to the ground? That's... While... While strong, I learned how to do that from... Another very magical being. Is it the Sylvanas guy? Because Aylor mentioned him too, and I don't even know who he is. I'm sorry, my dear. Sylvanas is the god in whose forest we reside. Hmm. This is like, this is like rocking my world. Like, I can't quite comprehend that. So I'm looking confused. It's a very... Hmm. If only... It's a shame you couldn't have learned more before coming here. Rest assured. It was not Sylvanas who taught me. Though it is thanks to Sylvanas' power that you can hear me. I guess it's not bad then. 
It's his will that guides the forest. And so it is through his will that you were allowed in here. So he's not friends with this Alar guy? No. Okay. That 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 kind of settles me. I'm, I'm okay with that then. But I will tell you, though very odd, Alar is a good. And he can teach you a lot. Can I come visit you anytime I want? My child, as far as I'm concerned, this is your home. And you can go visit him if you want to learn things. I just kind of run over and, like, just give Mama a big hug. Especially considering they're probably not going to let you bring your new baby in there. What? <laughs> but I have to take him! He's just a baby! It's like splishing. He's like splishing in the stream. <laughs> like a baby would. It's up to you, my child, what you want to do. But the force will always be here for you. I guess if I can always come home, then that's okay. And she kind of licks the top of your head. Ugh, mama. My sweet little girl. And she starts to walk away. Alright, come on you. Get out. We gotta get you dry. <laughs> Animal handling joke. Hmm. He's having fun splishing. Ah, uh, ten. <laughs> he ignores you. <laughs> He's just ignoring you. Just splishing around. Hmm. Um, I walk over and I find like some wild raspberries or something, and I like I I gather myself a little a little pile. I sit there and I start eating them real slowly, like trying to get his attention. Come here. I like hold one out to him. He like starts taking steps. And then it's splashing. So he starts hopping. <laughs> splashes more water. <laughs> then he gets to the edge. I like ruffle him and rough house with him a little bit. Rolling around. For a for a little thing, he's 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 strong. Like Good. You're, you're realizing that now. Like Yeah. If if he had decided to resist you last night, mm -hmm. you would have been hard pressed to make him move. Okay. Is what you're realizing. Okay. I start trying to train him a little bit, like come here with berries and Okay. I like I like grab a stick and have him like stick with leaves and have him chase it. Okay. Give hmm, let's see. You're gonna try and train him using treats mm -hmm. and just basic commands. Mm-hmm. Like, nothing too too mm -hmm. strenuous. It's just like, the come, you know, if he comes to me, he gets a berry. Okay. Or some acorns, or... Give me three animal handling checks. Uh... Don't add them up. Give me each one individually. Two 18s and a 15. Is that with your... That's with the check. With the... Yeah, addition. Okay. Uh, he has a pretty quick study. Oh, hey. He gets it pretty quick. You're not really sure if he'll do it when you stop giving... When you stop giving him snacks. Okay. But at least when you have the berries, he listens really well. I'm, like, praising him, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
What is Lavari gonna do? Um. I mean, I I send up a howl. I find my little brother. Mm -hmm. Um, I want him here with me. So Mama should probably be off screen. Bring in my little brother, and then. Um. I think that I will head towards the village. Okay. Just like at my own pace. Okay. Go so, I, so I take all day to get there. I was going to say, going not beelining it. Yeah. Which, first, when and you went there, you were sprinting. Yeah. On wolfback. Yeah. Coming back, we were at a we were at a heavy walk, a wolf walk, which would have been long strides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I fully expect it to take all day. It does, and it's it's well past sunset by the time you arrive. Okay. You have to forgive the fact that I only have one picture, and it is for a bright. It's How for rude of you. Look. How could you? It's been a busy day. <laughs> um, I announce myself as I get close. It's just me. And who is me? Lavari. And an owlbear. <coughs> I kind of, I ruffle my brother's ears. Oh. I give him, I give him the leftover food from my pouch, which is berries and fruits and whatever I found. <laughs> oh, he at least takes the berries. He's a wolf. He prefers meat. Yeah, but they're delicious. <laughs> he normally takes my... He normally takes the berries. He, like, pokes at it. They're omnivores. He pokes at it. He, maybe he's just not hungry. Hmm. I ruffle his ears and I send him back. Because I know he can't come with me. Oh. Oh. That he licks up a few of the berries and then heads back out. Okay. A few moments pass of you just standing there. I, I, I kind of just like I take a few sips in. See as, if anything you, as you start to as you start to step that way, a head pops out from around the tree. There you are. Oh, you're so creepy. I say that like very quietly to myself. So you've returned. Oh, and you brought your little friend again. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, he has to stay with me. All right. Don't see why that would be problematic. So are you staying Kay. here? I don't know. Oh, thought you were At just... least the night, because it's a long walk. I thought you were just coming here for training and then <coughs> returning. Bless you. <coughs> Bless you, child. Do you have a cold? No, it it's... I require you to... It's this... It's your force. It smells funny. Mm. Well, it is that time of year. Hmm. Anyway. Well, I suppose we can find a spot for you to stay, too. Oh. Does that mean you're going to be... Does that mean you're going to be training with me? Yes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, then, we should get started immediately. Are you ready right now? I'm ready right now. Sure. Can can I have a bed for my baby? Then he won't bother us while we are doing whatever we're doing. Hmm. And then he can be in the same room with us. He goes over and he like crouches down in front of mm -hmm. and puts his hands on either side of his face. <gasps> Doesn't smush him. Just puts him on either side. Just kind of like ruffles him a okay. little bit. I still gasp because I don't know what he's doing. Hey, at first the owlbear's eyes go a little wide. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, like, hmm. There's a bit of a tingle from this one, too. Interesting. He does not elaborate. <laughs> Alright, make sure we can find a place for the two of you. And just takes you on over the elevator. I just follow. I don't know what to do with this man. I just follow. Okay, so you're going to begin your training. Okay. Under Alar. Okay. And I'm assuming that simultaneously you're wanting to train up your old bear. Yes. Okay. So here's where we're going to do... Because you and I have discussed it before. Yes. The the time skip. Yes. Where we're going to advance a few years. Very quickly. We're going to do like ten years in like five minutes. So give me... You taught you taught your owlbear basic commands. Yes. What is the next thing you would teach it? You would try to teach it. Um. Slightly more complicated commands. <laughs> what would you try and do, and how? When you're while you're trying to train it, what would you do, Sorry, and how? Sorry, I had to give this smart uh -huh. response. Uh huh. Uh um, huh. Your DC just went up. What? No, not my DC. Um. So I assume I've taught it like come and sit and stay. Mm -hmm. Your bait, your real basic commands. Um, I want to teach it flank and like attack, attack on command. Um, what would be another useful one? Would fetch be a basic command? Um. Sure. Okay, so fetch is a basic command. So that's already taught. Uh, okay. So we'll start with that. Uh, give me... How are you teaching that to him? Like for flank and attack, how are you? Oh, um, I assume I would go down to like their training grounds. I assume they have. You like training combat ground drills with, a with him. Dummy, yeah, one of the dummies on a stick. Give me an athletics check. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Is there anything else you want to try and... Um... <sighs> Riding. I won't be able to ride him. Okay. Um, not in, like bareback. I don't need a saddle or anything for him, but packs. I mean, I'm used to packs. You mean owl bareback? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fair. Yep. Um. So owl bareback with like saddle saddle bags. Um. Would he know, like, his bite and claw naturally, I assume? Yeah, he... But you might need to teach him how to hunt, considering... Okay, yeah, I'll teach him how to hunt since he's a baby. Okay, so we're going to handle that as two separate things. First, we're going to handle the... That I would need to go into my woods and probably call one of my wolf friends. So, first we're going to handle your, uh, your riding. Okay. Just give me an animal handling check. Ten. Okay. So now we're gonna do the the hunting. 
Um, that's going to be a nature. Oh, six. Okay. These are not good rolls. I told you this would happen. Give me one more animal handling check. Yeah! 23. Okay. So... That's more akin to what my animal handling should be. Yeah, but it's also it's also there to symbolize, you know, good, good days, days bad, bad days. Good days bad days, yeah. Um, okay. But this is equivalent of 10 years, so... Right. You should be lenient because we can all have a lot, we can all have a few bad days, but they're mostly good days. Uh, is there anything else you want to try and treat, teach him? Um. Okay. Hold on. What did we say? We said hunting, fighting, riding, uh, combat maneuvers. He can fly on his own, right? He cannot fly. Well, like he can flap his feathers, his wing feathers, and create gusts. Like, so, small one. So, like, okay, so, like, this little owlbear that I have, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, too bad we can't throw a picture up of it. Um, Give me a second. Because it's the D&D &D owlbear. Yep. I just need a second to find the picture. Also, our music stopped. Yep, it just stopped though. Uh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. So cute. He's so cute. Um. <laughs> hmm. Dang it, jump. Hmm. So, actually, that's why I want the picture up, because I want him to look a little different than the one I have. I kind of want him to look a little more like a, um, what's the Dauntless one? Shrike. A Shrike. Oops, shoot. Oh, uh, that's fine. I'm going to do that right, but it actually works out better this way. Could you also say f do a picture of the Shrike? <laughs> and then put the this Shrike next to it. Um. All right. So, was there anything else you were teaching it? I don't. Remember. Um. Uh, how to flap its its wings. Um. Uh, like the one right below that. Um, hmm. What else would be something good to teach my Albert? You people can chime in too in the chat if you can think of something good. So his okay. his wings won't be near that big, right? You want to make it so people can see it. Yeah, I'm trying to get this all sorted.
this one you know below the overlay okay Ta -da! okay so the Oops. one on the left is the is the owlbear like this is the little owlbear that i have um the one on the right is dauntless's shrike which is basically a dauntless owlbear so the dauntless owlbear has big big owl wings with it's like an owl on the front half and a bear on the back half um so i was thinking a mix of the two so he has he doesn't have flying wings like the shrike does um but he has bigger wings than the feathers that the little D and D out there has so i figure he can balance on his back legs and flap his front feathers like not to fly but to make gusts like, nothing crazy. What do you want the gust to be able to do? Just, like, knock someone back. You can start trying to teach him that. Okay. It's it's not something that is a supernatural. Is, is all that natural for him to try and do? So, give me a... You know what? Give me a performance check. A performance check? To heck, man. To heck, is there a, a better one I could do? Explain to me. Give me Give me a re... How are you teaching me to do this? Uh, I'm going to ba teach him to balance on his back paws, on his butt and his back feet. I'm going to do that first. And then when he has good balance, then I'm going to physically move his his wing feathers, like his arms, his front paws. Yeah, you're doing a performance check. That's not a performance. I'm not you're performing. You're teaching a four, you're teaching a four-legged creature to stand up on its back legs. He's performing, not me. Yeah, yeah. But oh, that's part of the training. That's him. part of the training. Oh. Hmm. You're getting to use your modifiers. He'd have even less than that. Hmm. I, I'm not sure about that. Do you have one? I have plus one. That's all I have. Come on. Oh, eight. Okay. You've started trying to teach him that. Okay. It's been rough. <clears throat> okay, so hold on. Basic commands, combat maneuvers, hunting, gusts, um, fighting technique. Anything else? Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else I'm missing? We're about six years after you've started your your trainings and everything. Would hunting include foraging? Um, he probably went and foraged with you when you went and foraged okay. things, so he would have that. Okay. We're probably about six years out from when you started your training. You've come okay. you've come a long way. Druidcraft is pretty normal, is standard standard issue for you at this point. You can you can speak at, uh, I guess. Druidic is just a written language. Okay. But so you are able to now read any of the books that are also written in Druidic. Okay. Um, and Elvish. I assume being around a bunch of elves, I probably learned you're some learning Elvish. You're learning some of the te more technical things you still have to work out. But I can but speak like it normal, fluently, normal language, conversationally. You, yeah. Okay. Um, you say what you do with an accent. People kind of... Some people will giggle. But okay. uh, you can... You can do Elvish. I can hold a conversation. Yeah. Uh, one night, one of the nights while you're you're doing your hunting training, uh, and you're spending you're spending the night mm -hmm. in your forest, roll a perception check. Thirteen. 
These dice are betraying me. You... Oh, I'm sorry. I said you were in your forest. So actually give me that with advantage. Twenty-three. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Huh. Alright. <laughs> you hear a distant roar. Okay. Which starts you from your sleep. Which, what kind of roar? You've not heard one like this before. So it's not mammalian? No. Okay. Uh, starts you from your sleep. Uh, when you when you sleep in your forest, where do you sleep? Do you sleep in the trees? Do you sleep on? I sleep in my clearing underneath in my tree. High, high above the trees, you can see you can see the you can see. Do it. you want to pull up my clearing? Uh, do you still have it? I should still have it. I may have deleted. Aha. Look, there you are. Yeah, <laughs> there I am. Oh, I gotta make sure that's actually. Hmm. Be gone. The two of you. There we go. There you go. High above you and in the direction of the village that you were run out of as a child. That's Say that again? Sorry. High above the trees mm -hmm. and coming from the direction of the village that mm -hmm. you were ran out of as a child. Okay. The sky is unusually bright. Hmm. And you've heard a loud roar. Hmm. Which, again, woke you up. Hmm. What do you do? Mm. Hmm. Um. Do I sense it as dangerous? It's not... Is you, it a threat to me? It's not a threat to you, and you don't... Your forest doesn't seem concerned by it. It just seems to be a thing. I do nothing. Okay. No investigate. No anything. If you wouldn't, then just say no. It's fine. Um. I really hate that village. Like, I don't, I don't want to be cruel, but I really dislike no, you, the people you, in that village. If you wouldn't do anything, then that's perfectly fine. And that village is in the opposite direction of the Elvish village, yes. right? I don't do anything. Okay. You also notice that your owlbear is not there anymore. <sighs> this was happening regardless. Okay. Um. Give me a perception. Another perception check. Actually, no. You rolled well enough on the other perception okay. check. If the village is to the east of you... Okay. The owlbear's prints go to the north. Okay, well, at least he didn't walk towards that. Um, I give a whistle. Like, my, my bird call whistle that I use to call him. You hear a rustling in the, in the bushes. Okay. And your little... Your... No, I wanted. Boop. Your little, your little runt brother pops up. He's not a runt anymore. Like he's, he's gotten to be a good size now. You want to make him bigger then? He still takes up that much space on the thing, though. He's not mama's size, but he's proper. Actually, do you have to increase it by four? Yeah, he he increases he increases compared to the grid. Okay. Actually, 
He doesn't even he doesn't even look like that anymore. He he looks more like this. He looks he look he's starting to look like his brothers and like Mama does. Okay. He's getting bigger. He's just not oh, Mama big. I wish he was still brown. <laughs> he can still be brown. Okay. But he's starting to get like the markings on him. He's getting bigger in size. Okay. And I'm using this token to denote. Different. Okay. Okay. So. I walk over to him. I just ruffle him. But like he heard you. He heard your call. Yeah. That's why he came. Yeah. But. So I, I walk over to him. I ruffle him. But you didn't get a response from your elder. Hmm. <laughs> Um, am I, am I older at this point? You said six years, right? Yeah, so you're about 20. Okay. Is my elder male or female? I've inferred to it as he, so I assume it's male. Do you, do you have a preference? Yeah, I think it kind of like, I, since I've been referring to him as male, I think that is my preference. Okay, then do you have a male over? Doesn't okay. make much difference to me. Does my brother have a name? Probably. What's his name? It's a great question. Hmm. We're prepared Romulus. For that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Um. That's fine. If it's Romulus, I'll go with that. Toka. Hmm. I don't like it. Too bad. That's his name. What? No. You get to pick it. Let's go back to Romulus. You wouldn't have a name. I was fine with Romulus. Um, okay. Hey, Toka, have you seen Tolly? He's not here. He just kind of tilts his head. And he signals in the direction that the... That the you could Prince see that the prints were going. Okay. Come on. Just walking? Just walking. Okay. I'm not overly concerned at this point. My owlbear is six years old. He might have just been hungry. But the light in the sky is... And the roar is... You see... I'm uneasy. You see You see some, some signs that he went munching. Like, there's some... There's some trees. There's some trees that got knocked over. He's gotten strong. Like... And if he gets, he's a chunky boy now. If he gets, if he gets on a little bit of a rampage, things can be less than good. Okay. Um, but he's he's pretty he's pretty tame. Okay. Um, you've done to you've me done, anyway. You've done well training him. Okay. Uh, for the most part. Okay. But you keep going, and you're going, and you don't. The tracks are getting a little rough, but because you're wolf. Bud showed up. Mm -hmm. He's able to still guide you okay. by scent. Um, you reach the edge of your forest, mm -hmm. right where the mountain butts up against your forest. Okay. And in the mountain is a very large cave. Okay. And the prince clearly go into that cave. Hmm. Okay. I, f I follow the prince. Give me a perception check. Twelve. As you start to walk that way, you see... Near, not very far inside. Okay. Um, there's a little humanoid figure about four feet tall. Okay. Red and scaly skin. Hmm. Dragon? Just holding, holding a little makeshift spear. grumbling to himself. He doesn't see you. He's facing the other direction. He's facing into the cave. Hmm. Like scratching his head. Hmm. I, so I don't startle him too much so he stabs me. I just call out, hello! Ha! 
He spins around and puts his spear at the ready. I just, I just throw some fire up in my hand. Just a little bit of craft. Put it down. I like bounce it. Oh, you. I live in this forest. Who are you? He gestures with his spear. Mm -hmm. Forest end there. This mountain. Who? Hmm. Your beast? Oh, the big one with the feathers and the fur? <laughs> yeah, I came to take him home. I do my I do my bird whistle to see if Tolly comes to me. Cave is a nice wide mm -hmm. opening to the cave. But off to the left is a little archway. Okay. Bouncing around echoing from that direction, you hear <laughs> Okay, Growing up, his, his call is a little weird. Different yeah, now. yeah. I just, I just walk towards, towards his voice. Lizard puts his spear back down, pointing at you. I'm just gonna grab the spear and just attempt to like pull it out of his hands. While doing so, I'm going for, I'm gonna try to intimidate him. Fangs out. Growling a bit. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Give me a. We're going to do this in order. Give me a strength check. Just give me a contested strength check. 18. Pretty sure you're going to get it. You you completely just you said you wanted to take the spear away. I just away wanted from, to rip it out of his You hand. you pulled it straight like there was basically no resistance. Okay. Now give me an intimidation roll. Eighteen. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this isn't going your way, is it? You. <laughs> what? What is it that you said you did again to intimidate him? I just bared my fangs. Kind of rumbled so in my throat. Between between those things and the fact you just you pulled the spear away from him like it was nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> what help with beast? <laughs> I think I've got it, but thank you. I know help. Others attack. Fine. Come on. Touch him, though, and you'll get bit. Pecked? Clawed? He has lots of weapons. He starts leading you, and as you get to the archway, mm -hmm. another creature of the same type pops out. Okay. Puts the spear down. Levels the spear at you. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of... Waves him off. Waves him off. And you venture into... Oh, I give him his spear back. He takes it. He takes it kindly. He he says... Okay. He, he's just like, thank you. Okay. Uh, and you venture into... Stop looking. Stop looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made I made an error. I'm sorry. Um... I stole this map. I didn't have a chance to edit it for my purposes. So, you can... Uh, gotta make sure the right part is on the screen. Alright. You walk in. 
and you are in a square in a squarish room with a door on the far side. Okay. You say I can look or I can't look. You can you can look now. Okay. Um, certain aspects of this map won't be accurate because I didn't have time to edit it. Okay. Uh, but this does have most of what I want. Uh, you come in right here. Okay. The grid doesn't line up on this one, so I can't make okay. the characters work. So I mean, still use them. Uh, it's more exciting when you do. <laughs> Are there you are. Do do. Yeah, like that'll be fine. And he, as you entered this room, mm -hmm. he ran off ahead of you Those to the next door. Spoke? Yeah. Okay. Is my wolf still with me? Or did he wait outside? Uh, did you want him to come with you? Um, no, it'd probably be better if he waited outside. Okay, then he is, he's waiting right, just right off, off the map. He's still in the cave. Okay. But just sitting, waiting, okay. in case, sitting there, eyeing the other guard that came out. Okay, I'm waiting for my signal if I need him. Yep. Okay. But he goes, he goes over to this door and just pushes it open for you. It's it's almost midnight. Just so you know. Okay. I didn't know where a good stopping place may or may not be. I just thought we were going to get a little further. Okay. Um, but by a little further, mm -hmm. I don't know what that's going to actually translate to as far as... Actual gameplay. Yes. So. Why don't we stop here then? Okay. So put, you're stopping in. Do you have a lizard folk thing? So you, can you have to look at not the screen right now, so okay. I can search this. I don't have the token form, but I'm sure there's probably a generic one I can use. Yeah. Cool. Um. Ironically, there is not a easy generic one I can use uh for there for, for sake of I can't even tell what that is I was like that doesn't look like a lizard uh no. what's what is, the, what is the lizard folk by by name well you would uh, know that no but I'm for searching I, I searched its name oh okay yeah huh so He he goes over there. He opens the door. And in the distance, you just hear. Okay. Uh. The. In the walls. Mm -hmm. You see inset. Uh. These faintly glowing. Orbs. Okay. With a very. They glow with a very pale light. Okay. Hmm. Do I know them? Mm. Like, would I have seen them before? Give me a... You're going to do a die roll. Um... I would say give me either nature or history, but they're the same for you. So. Top. Not real sure, but. Okay. You could almost swear they look like pearls. Hmm. 
Weird. Well, pearls don't glow. No, no, they don't. And then we will pick up in the dungeon next time. Sounds good. So. Oh, goodness. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Uh, as always, it is much appreciated. Bubbles, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yes. Uh, Jump, thanks for hanging out. Lost and Fox, thank you guys for being here earlier. You got mad coinage today. What? I don't know what that means either. Props? Yo. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. We have an extra life meeting, so we'll see uh, what time we get around to being able to start. Oh, the stream coins got it. Um, tomorrow we'll try some more Darkest Dungeon. Uh, it's, it's, the game's rough. Uh, it's getting better now that we have access to some more funds, but it's still rough. Bubbles, thanks for, thanks for being my guinea pig and playing. Of course. Anytime. Anytime. Within reason. Nope. Nope, too late. Within reason. Nope, too late. Uh, hmm. But yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow for some Darkest Dungeon. So be there and let the darkness overwhelm you. Fill your mind. Uh, and drive you insane. Hmm. Agreed. Agreed, Jump. Sorry, but things have just been so insanity. Yep. That's a good word for it. Insanity. But hopefully hopefully things will calm down soon, though I'm not. I'm not confident. I'm not confident after how today went. You will be fine. Oh, I will be dead. You won't be dead. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this stream is adjourned. Good night, everybody. Good night.